Hi there, my name is Sandy Alnock. I'm an artist and paper crafter here on YouTube. And today I'll be coloring with a limited palette. That doesn't mean limited number of markers, but it means I'm gonna be using reds and browns primarily on my card and talking about how to get some different shades of different ones. For this particular one, I wasn't sure what color ice cream that I wanted to do. And that's the one that I really wanted to color in here, but I decided I would color the things that had to be a particular color first. So I'm starting with my reds. So the cherry, I'm using one of my favorite red combinations. Actually, any of the lighter reds work with the R89 and the R37 to create some shading. And I'm having a, a little spot of white left on it because for objects that are actually shiny, that's the one time that you want to be sure to leave a white highlight. Most other objects don't need a white highlight, so strawberry won't necessarily be shiny, and I suppose they might be in reality, but what I wanted to do was add some texture with the white. So I'm going in with a white gel pen. This one is a Signo pen, but you can use whatever works for you on top of your Copic markers. So now I'm going to do the stripes on the candy and color them with the base red first. The shading around this will be kind of around the outside bottom edge, sort of in a C shape around the area that's kind of behind that donut. And I'm gonna add a little bit on the top just because I wanna have some more shading around here, but not a ton. And then I'll use grays to shade the white area. So a medium to darkish gray, and then I'll blend that out with a very light gray color. If you don't feel confident that a C4 is uh, light enough for you, you can always lighten that shade up a little bit as well, but I like the contrast. That's what I love in my coloring. So then I decided I would start with other objects that had to be a particular color, because I still wasn't decided on what flavor of ice cream that I was gonna color, so I thought I'll start with the cone itself. And depending on whether or not there's some cones that are really light and have a little yellow tinge to them, this one's going to be one of the darker ones. I, don't, I remember these when I was a kid, and I don't buy ice cream cones all that much, but there were some that were made more of a graham cracker kind of a thing, and that's more of the color I was thinking of for this one, is graham cracker E, even though I know that those were mostly in a pointed shape. But I always thought it was a real treat when mom would get the ones that have the little graham cracker to them. So I'm gonna add all of my shadows with my dark color and then go in with a mid-tone and soften those out. I'm leaving some bounce light around the outside edges, which is you know, not something you'd have to do, of course, but it's always fun to add a little bit of something like that because most people wouldn't do that and it adds something even if you don't notice it. It just tends to make it look like, wow, you did something super special there. So just fill in a few spots and smooth a few places out with my lightest color and then move on to some more chocolate. So I thought this one would be good to have a really good rich chocolate frosting on it. So I'm coloring that in with an E39, a nice dark reddish kind of a color. So I'm picturing this being a super dark chocolate kind of color. It's tough to sometimes find a color that's dark enough, <clears throat> pardon me, to shade an E39, but an E49 is basically the darkest brown. It's an almost black brown. And that'll work perfect on this to keep that really dark color. And it makes it, even though it has the same E39 that the cone did, it looks like a very different kind of brown because of the color that it's matched with. That got me thinking that chocolate frosting on this donut would also be awesome because chocolate frosted donuts are amazing. And I'm gonna leave a highlight on this one because I wanted the frosting to look like it's shiny. So I'm gonna leave a highlight across that side and then color in and out between all of the sprinkles that I stamped together. And uh, by the way, as I did the stamping for this, I stamped and masked each image. And so the donut and the ice cream were stamped in the front with of course the strawberry and the cherry stamped first and then the candy and the cupcake were stamped last. And here we have another bits of highlights that I'm leaving in here. A little bit on each one of those little drippy areas because that will emphasize those. 
as well as just a tiny bit around the curve on the bottom side of the donut. And then I will add again that really dark color for the shadows, that E49, because that's going to make it look rich and brown. But I didn't want it to be totally the same color frosting as the other one, so I'm not putting as much, but there's also more area for that lighter brown to show. So I'm just throwing in a few dots of color, and then I'll go back in with an E29. So it's a darker brown, but not completely dark, just so I can soften up some of those areas. I'm allowing some of the E39 to still show through. So I have this rich chocolate, but not so rich that it looks exactly like the one on the cupcake, because then I can make them look like they were each frosted slightly differently. And then next I will go back in with my E39 and fill in any spots that need a little bit of blending, a little, little softening, that sort of thing. And it's looking pretty tasty. For the donut, I thought I'd make a like yellow cake donut. The yellow that I chose, what it does in combination with the E33 and the E35 that I'll be using is make it the same, it's kind of the same colors as the cone, except it's got a little bit of that yellow cake color in it. So it'll take that same color tone and change it just by adding some yellow underneath of it. And on the cupcake here, I'll add a little bit of shading, but I'm going to let more of the yellow shine through there. So now we get to the ice cream, and I decided it was going to be a vanilla-ish kind of color. So I'm going to use a little bit more of that yellow because I wanted to use some browns, but I didn't want them to just go dead brown. A lot of the browns end up looking really kind of non-tasty after a while, so I wanted it to have some flavor to it. And then I'm taking a, a skin tone kind of color, an E21, softening out some of that yellow and creating some shadows on one side, just letting it get a little bit softer, but I'm leaving some definite white highlights. And then that was feeling a little bit too bright still, not food colors. It was a little, little too intense. So then I took an E42, which is a pretty dull brown, and went over top of that a little bit further. Stretch those colors out a little bit more. And I tell you, companies like Sunny Studio Stamps and all these other companies that keep making things that are chocolate are not good for my diet because when I color things like this, I just want to eat sugar. So I have to settle for just looking at sugar instead of eating it. But boy, oh boy, someday they're going to start making more healthy things for me to color so that I have cravings for healthy stuff instead of chocolate. For the sprinkles, I'm going in with colors that I've already used. I needed to have a little green pop in there for the stems on the strawberry and the cherry. And then I added a little green to the sprinkles as well as the red and then that yellow color so that I end up with a bunch of different colors on there. And I didn't have enough green there, so I thought the little swirl of icing on the cupcake would be great in a green. I'm going to add just a little tiny bit of shadows here at the bottom to give them all a little place to sit. Don't forget the inside of the donut. And then right here under the candy, if you leave that little white triangle, it just looks like the candy is setting up off of the ground. And then I'm going to take a light gray and just soften out some of that. Smoosh that color around just a little bit to break up that hard edge. On something like this you could even have a hard edge depends on the light if it's a really bright light it'll have a sharper edge if it's a soft light it'll have a softer edge for the sentiment I was thinking about just putting glossy accents over the sweet but I thought let me see if I can mimic that with a white pen so you could do it either way this will end up looking like there's glossy accents on it when there isn't just add a few little details onto the letters and then layer it and pop it up on a card base and it is sweet as can be isn't it i hope you are not going to run out and get a donut but if you do make sure you get a good chocolate one if you're going to do it make it count and make it make it something really delicious <laughs> okay here's a couple other videos with of course more sweet treats on the left some healthy treats on the right if you want to see a smoothie card 
and then some fizzy bubbles in the center if you want to see some other Copic videos. You can hit the subscribe button if you'd like to do that to get more videos from me. And you can also see supply lists in the description as well as over on my blog. And I'll see you guys next time. Take care and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.